Hello everybody, good evening and welcome to OTL Racing here on Twitch. As always, for round number five of our Touring Car League season number six. And we are at Hockenheim National this evening. Fabulous German circuit. Good evening everyone. Hello Tam, Johnny Ash, AJ, Jay Hig. Good to see you as always. I hope you're doing well. I've just lost all game sound, so hopefully that's not happening to you lot as well. I'm having a lot of technical gremlins here tonight, so we're, yeah, we're going to see how long this lasts. As long as you guys can hear it, I think that's all that matters. Let me see if I can fix that for a second. But to, yeah, going to hopefully be a good night of racing. So it should be a pretty close one. Let's see if we can sort the sound out my end, because it's going to be weird without hearing any car audio. I can see you can hear it still. Right, let's see if the middle button sorts it for me. It's not a good start, is it? Yeah, I can't hear a... I can't, cannot hear a thing. It's not really a big problem, to be honest. It should be nice and useful. Um, well, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it might be a little bit quiet. I can turn it up. There we go. Um, huh, well, that's... that's, that's um, Interesting. Yeah, so uh okay, no, no, for me so far then. God dearie me. A second ago I wasn't gonna be able to stream at all because uh, the controller wasn't even connecting to the console. So no I'm gonna have to need to buy uh, so shortly. Okay, well we'll carry on for now. Is there a game sound? So sorry if I miss anything here, can't hear any collisions. Um but uh, yeah, we should be able to get through just fine. But yeah, let me know if the audio is okay. So yes, we are uh, here at Hockenheim, round number five of six. So obviously three races a night. We've already had our 12 uh, races. Three tonight, as always. It's a lovely uh, short circuit. That is Hockenheim National. It's a fun layout as well, one I particularly enjoy. I think this suits touring cars beautifully. In tracks like this, Brands Indy. They suit, uh, they suit the cars lovely more laps in, so it won't take them too long to get around. If I admit that I've got an audio and I haven't got a thing. Very, very weird. So, no, it's what it is. I'll start with Fish as he finishes up. Tam up into the provisional pole, 29.834. We'll start for him. Potential he's got. We've got a cover driver in tonight. We've got two cover drivers actually tonight. We'll see if Fish go over the line here then. So how does he fare? Oh, down in seventh. We're in second, but struggling a little bit. That's Tam at the top. We've got uh, two cover drivers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crash first Monday night practice. Yeah, practice in inverted commas. There's a bit of practice that goes on within the crashing. Get it out of your system before the Tuesday. It's a good it's good for you. Just purge it out of the system. Probably not an idea, isn't let's be honest. So yes, tenths rhombus 8 for of 9. That looks like an auto-generated yeah, go on, I'll have that when you made this account. Covering tonight uh, for D stack and uh, a good time to start with. We've also got Hawes with us this evening. Hawes 130058. Thank you. Rolls off the tongue. Uh, covering for Captain Crampy. So mm -hmm. Captain Crampy's livery. Nicely done. Always nice when we get little things like that right. And uh, did not fancy that lap. Three quarters of a second down at the moment. Wizard and uh, Jay Hicks still to set a time. And then uh, AJ, Chaos Theory, and GTI Yoda. Not setting the time as they are the top three in the standings at the beginning of the evening. So actually, we can have a look at the standings now. So you can see Chaos Theory and it's by Orange Beamer on 290. Only six points ahead of Yoda. It's very, very close between them. And we've got uh, AJ on 274. So not far back, especially when you consider there's 35 points for a race win. And we have three races a night. 100 five points, quick bit of math, make sure it didn't sound even sillier on screen than I normally do. It's 105 points available for wins, you've got your pole uh, points as well, pole position gets one point and the fastest lap in the race also is awarded a point. So, 
yeah, they do all add up uh, fairly quickly. So, six point lead and a 16 point lead. Very, very little. Especially in this uh, championship where it's so easy to have a bad race. It's so, so easy to just end up a little further back than you were hoping for in a race and then just not be able to recover the positions because everybody is fairly similar pace. It's, uh, it's difficult to quite contend with but uh, yeah it, that's what makes these uh, xbox races so so good so it's been like this for a while now as well they've been so competitive so mr fish is no slouch by any stretch of the he's his second off at the moment wizard you and jay who still have my lap time in that is jay Hig just in front of willie there and then we've had jay Hig technically cross the line twice uh, in races in the lead and lose the lead due to time penalties you can see where he is he's seventh in the standings and he's had the genuine pace to technically win two races before time penalties cost him. So there is pace for all throughout the grid as you can see there up to fourth then 0.340 of, of the lead. But worth it in tonight as well as always we've got Crank Chronic 420. Final couple of corners to go now then. There's a bit of that runoff on the uh, left hand side of the track. He doesn't use much of it though. Got fish just behind him on track as well. Does fish go any quicker? He does. Three, so three quarters of a second faster in fact. And just ahead of Jay Hill and Crunk Chronic. Not that much. About a tenth, nearly a tenth. Into fourth position. About a tenth back though from uh, a few of the other drivers as you can see there. Tenth Wombers doing well so far. Really mixed it pretty nicely in tier one with the team it's going to be right amongst it this evening <coughs> you missed as much hello sir how you doing how you doing mate good to see you as always so hopefully the audio level is okay it's a bit loud but you know as i said earlier I cannot hear the game audio the technical gremlins strike once again <laughs> they were fine at the start and in about 30 seconds in it all disappeared. But the stream's still got it, so it's what matters. Lord only knows when the Lord has disappeared. Let's try one more fix I haven't tried. Oh, Jay could get very close there. Coming into the pits as well, so probably not going to be able to have any more attempts. That is him, going to be him then. I think for qualifying. Evening Hawaiian. How are you doing, sir? Hope you're doing well. Just one and a half minutes uh, left to go. Then Jay Hook only 11 thousandths of a second off. What, did it very quick there, though. That's a sketchy way to take that corner. So we've got Hawes down in seventh. He's only just over half a second back, so there's no time at all between them, as always. So it's always it's fascinating to watch these uh, Xbox races due to. So we've just been so close. So we've got Woo, or Woof, uh, down in at eighth. So Wizard is just clearly set, struggling to set a valid lap time. We know Wizard has got the pace. Just set a, has set a time, so it's moving at least ahead of the three that aren't qualifying. But we know he can go quicker. We know he can go quicker than that. He's one of the quickest uh, drivers on here. He's controller user, definitely one of the quickest controller users as well. Pretty sure he's still a controller user. Uh, kind of. Why? I'm, oh man, I've just been having a bad whole health time of it the last few weeks, but uh, I'm all right. I'm doing okay. So we'll see. I'll try to get at least a couple of races in and do the third if I haven't, if I'm not dying like slowly inside. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how I'm faring in about an hour's time. But I want to get in as much of the racing in as possible. Show everybody. So we're we'll stuck behind. Uh, I think that is. No, that is not horse. That would be Rombus then, just in front of him. Yeah, in, in the D Stacks car. So really impressive to be that close. That time's 29.673, looking very strong. Got used to that on circuit. No one likes uh, kind of abuse like that. <laughs> I'm alright. I, I can't complain, especially in the world we're in at the moment. It's nothing too bad or anything. It's uh, stuff I've had for a while, so it's all good. I'll live. I mean, I'll whinge about it. Gould, I'll whinge about it, but I will live. <laughs> like a good old man. I'm British after all. Do what, I do, do what we do best. Cue and moan. 
absolutely ace at that. So uh, Crunk is done then, just coming over to the line. E6, less than half a second away from them though. Is this Q1? Yeah, Hawaiian. Yep, only just started, so we're only 10 minutes in, so we've got a little while to go yet. So just time still left out on the circuit, pretty much. So top three within less than a tenth of a second. This horse going to go any quicker. And he's not. Wizard U is down as well. Could not improve too much. And went off 31.594, so just under two seconds. So the outlier there of the group has struggled to get in a clean lap. Might have been setting some good times there, but just invalidating them, which is a shame. But... You have to say, that's a, uh, that is a close grid, as it always is. Less than two tenths between top four. Tenth Rumbus will be very happy with himself there. Who have we got still out on circuit? Is Crunk Chronic still going help for leather? I don't think so. No? Or maybe it's Tam then. Tam trying to oh, trying to rub it and salt into the wounds. Did he do so? No, he didn't. He did not go any quicker. But a 29.673. That takes that pole position for our first rate tonight. Great... Uh, Great qualifying from you there, Tam. Well done. Willie in second. Jay Hick in third. Of course, top three in the standings currently at the back of the grid, as the, is always the way in this league. Format always throws up some cracking racing. So Yoda, AJ and Chaos Theory going to have to fight their way through from the back. As you saw AJ in the chat earlier saying he doesn't really fancy his chances. They're a little bit off pace today due to not being able to make yesterday's crash crash fest stroke practice. Customary Monday night practice session that these uh, these guys hold. It's not that bad. It's not that crashy. It's more. It's just uh, they have a bit of a laugh as well, but as well as putting in a fair bit of practice. So it's a nice mix of the two. There, there is the occasional crash bang wallop. Cool. Good. We're all good to go. As I can't hear the car, so I'm just going to have to go on the timer. And they are away. A good start from Tam there. Will he try to have to hold off that? The BMW of uh, Mr. Fisk behind there, looming over him very quickly, all the way up the inside of him at turn one. Deary dear, that's a hell of a start from Mr. Fish up into second. You see, uh, so here comes to use all of the runoff and more. It's a very wide road. Oh, I hope they can keep these cars in a straight line. A little bit of argy bargy there between William and Mr. Fish. Admin on admin. Blue on blue. Never like to see that. Cracking start from Mr. Fish, but look at that from uh, Tam gets away nicely at the start of lap number one here. And uh, we're putting it away to a, maybe a second lap or a second uh, gap there or so. Willie, Jay Hook just behind him. Going for the inside line in Mr. Fish. Mr. Fish will give him a little bit of room. I guess I have to let that McGann through. He does, that Momo McGann coming through. A little tag from Jay Hook there. And, uh, a couple of cars behind him slowing down. So it's cost him a few, uh, a little bit of pace. Okay, and uh, alongside him getting a bit argy bargy. The orange uh, BMW there. Oh, I do. I'm not sure there who to blame now. I would never like to uh, judge that midstream. Oh, that one of them is trying to let the other one go. Always difficult. We've been in this position a few times ourselves. But just close racing. So we'll get back out on circuit. And see if we, any of them are letting anyone else go. So, Chaos Theory, AJ, and Worth there being affected, unfortunately. Tam in the lead, but does have a time penalty. Yeah, we'll have to uh, see what happened there. It looked like one car was going very narrow, one car was coming in from very wide. They've both gone in. Yeah, yeah the angles are coming in at, and they've met. So we'll have to look at that one a little bit later on. So Tam in the lead, but does have a time penalty now. Is it one or is it two seconds? Well, it is two seconds. That's going to hurt. So when the races are this close, so he's got a good lead at the start, but when the races are close, you know, a two-second penalty is going to hurt very, very badly. See how that affects him. He's going to push like uh, hell for lever now. So he also have a time penalty as well. Seven and a half seconds back. Getting caught up a little bit in the stuff around the I think. Maybe stuff happening in front of him and uh, not be able to you know, get out of the way of it too much. So Carl's here down in 11. Making sure that, uh, that coming together we saw. It's going to cost him. So unlikely he might be able to catch up to the mid pack. They are a long way in front of him now. Look what he's really pushing here. So they know Tam has that two second time penalty. They can see that on their board, timing boards in the race. So they don't have to worry too much. They'll know that if they just stay anywhere near Tam, Tam will fall behind them. They've just got to make sure they don't join in, in gaining time penalties. So they just need to keep their noses clean. And uh, not worry too much about pushing too hard. Obviously, we don't want to race. They don't want to get too complacent, let the guys uh, behind them. Push on and catch them up. Mr. Fish doing well here, holding off Jay Hick. Jay Hick down in fourth. 
green McGann. So Fish getting that BMW round here very nicely though. Joe hit all over the back of him. So we might have a look up the inside into turn mine. Is Mr. Fish going to go defensive? We've got uh, Tim Rombus as well just behind him. And the car driver tonight to do stack. Doing very well as well. Good start to, to the race from, from him. Mixing it with the quick guys. Yoda, uh, Yoda, Wizard and Punk Chronic just in the background as well. They're not too far back. This is a very narrow line. So we're maybe looking up the inside. Charlie side by side now. Jay Hickman stops in again behind. So Tense Rombus just uh, playing his cards right there. Just, uh, just observing the scene, seeing what's happening in front of him. But uh, driving really well so far. A really good, uh, really good cover driver. Very, very good. Clearly not uh, phased by the pace. Tier one, I think, uh, from this sort of uh, this sort of uh, pace, I think if he signs up for future leads, will definitely be tier one. Can't be mixing it with these guys and be tier two. Let's be Bob. So Willie, let's just double check that uh, time panels haven't got any larger. So all oh, horses has got a 32 second time panel. So 30 seconds of that, likely having to. Spun, going off track, and going to say she overtook the circuit and gives you a 30 second time penalty. So we, we take those away. We, 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 this rare as hen's teeth that those penalties are valid. So at the moment, Tam doing pretty well. That two second time penalty, we don't know just about lose in one place. We drop down to second, but that is it, which is pretty impressive. But those guys behind him could still catch up. Oh, tense uh, rhombus. Now time penalty dropped back a little bit as well. He's got time penalty as uh, two. Mr. Fish going very far right there. He's not going to let Jay Hick have a run on him. No, it's going to let him alongside though. So Fish going to go as long on the brakes as he can. Not affect his exit angle, not give the cut back to Jay Hick. Jay Hick having a little bit of a look at the cut back, but uh, not quite working for him. And I'll slot in all the way down. So we go all the way down to that uh, technical parabolic there at Hockenheim, it's called. That uh, long sweeping. Turn down to the hairpin. Going to the inside. Does get a little bit on the grass there. Just worried about making contact. Just uh, just to the car in a little bit extra. Took it to the grass a little bit just to try and avoid that contact. A couple more. Uh, wrapping up those time penalties. A couple of corners here that are pretty easy to make up a track cut at, to be fair. And uh, yeah, in this league, it really is pointless taking the slow downs. It's too close to. Uh, you, you lose more time by slowing down. Well, the game says to. Uh, it's just better taking the time penalty, even if it is two seconds sometimes. Because once we lose the place in the pack, getting it back is very, very difficult. These two fighting very, very well. And uh, time all you can do though. Can get a bit of a lead up front. Any more time penalty has been added? No, so two for Rhombus and two for Tam. Two for Crunk, Chronic and 32. Obviously, I guess for fours will probably just be two. Done the two second time penalty once uh, all is written at the end of this race. Mr. Uh, Fish holding on to that uh, podium spot for all his worth. So he's just been studious. It's a tense run, but it's not far behind them. Into Yoda. But not far behind that pack as well. So still close between all of the guys. Evening Visa. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad, man. I'm not doing too bad. How, how are you doing, man? Good to see you. Yeah, it's a uh, cracking race. There's always good racing here. Oh, tense rumbers just going a little bit wide. So typical, you know, console race, you get mad usernames. <laughs> get mad game attacks and stuff. But uh, yeah, is it only small grids? So 12 drivers? Project Cars 2 on console on Xbox. But uh, yeah, the racing in these, uh, in these races is superb. Always has been for a long time now. These Xbox guys very, very close on pace. You've seen uh, Mr. Fish as well in other races, these are Andrew Pike. I'm sure you can work well. You'll probably work out why he's called Mr. Fish from his surname. But you may have seen him in the ACC races if you watch those. And uh, it's a little bit of race room, very briefly, when he had the time. I believe. Oh, so he's getting as close as he can. So at least we've dropped off the leader a little bit. You can see here that Tam's got a good lead 1.6 seconds. <laughs> yeah, well, there is one very one quick one, but it got caught up early on. Uh, there are three. We've got uh, the, the uh, third place car, Mr. Fish. We've got Wizard U in seventh, and then uh, Chaos Theory, who is one of the quickest drivers here, but got caught up in something a little bit early on, unfortunately. Uh, 
it's, oh no so Mr Fisher's had a spin it looks like so that doesn't to be honest the way they've come together that looks like Mr Fisher's have already basically stopped and that looked like Mr Fisher's sort of uh, caught a bit of a slide and then it's come to rest in the middle of the track so I was gutting for Mr Fisher where is he now he's got going again that hasn't cost him as badly as it could have on Jay Higgs there, see, I think Jay Higgs let Mr. Fish go back past, which I'm sure Mr. Fish afterwards is going to tell Jay Higgs, you know, you didn't need to do that. That didn't look like. That didn't look like uh, Jay Higgs needed to let him through. That looked like Mr. Fish he very much had his own incident there on Jay Higgs. It just couldn't do much about it. Jay Higgs, fair play to him, he's a cracking lad, he's a uh, uh, junior, but uh, he's let him through. Oh, a slightly BMW in the back, so yeah, maybe that car's just getting a bit of a slide on towards the end of this race. Wizard U in the background, so he's lost a position to Crunk Chronic, maybe Hawes as well, yeah, so he's lost a couple of places to use that slide. So fair enough, these two fighting again. So Willie still in a second spot, but on to take the uh, win. Split look again when these penalties are applied, Tam will drop down just to one place. Ooh, oh, do you know what? That's close now. It's right on the two uh, two second mark, which is exactly what his penalty is. So if we can keep penalties free for this last lap, push a little bit, and I'm sure Willie's now gonna have to be pushing hard to try and keep that place. It's going to be pretty close now. Coming out to the uh, final lap. So we're just going to have to push. Willie knows that that wind's only there if he pushes out a little bit harder. Got tenth rhombus. Going to take a, possibly take a podium for a cracking drive, but there's been time penalty for him as well. So there are going to be a few changes in the order. Yoda, who we saw further down the order not uh, too long ago, is now all of a sudden up into fourth and uh, eyeing a potential podium spot. Very quickly, how these things change, especially towards the end of races. And uh, everything gets a little bit feisty. And fair play to Jay Hick for uh, what did he get time penalty raised? It's two seconds. If, if Jay Hick's two second time penalty is due to that crash with, uh, with Mr. Fish, then actually it might get removed. So we'll see. So it's time penalty is due to if people actually, let, actually end up hitting someone. Oh, there's a, looks like someone's selling a selling slowdown. So tense rhombus there, pulling the cross. I think he did take a slowdown. Just putting his go faster headlights on now, seeing if they do the trick. Tom from the slots back into six. Let's go ball, ball with uh, Tam then. So this is going to be very close if that's still a two second time penalty. Very, very close. So he'll come over the line. Tam is moving a superb race there. But what can Willie do? Can he get within two seconds at the end? I don't think he can, you know. I think Tam's keeping the win. What an absolutely superb drive from Tam. Well done there. So even despite the two-second time penalty, he takes the win. Yoda is going to get third by the looks of things. So there'll be a few order changes there. Yeah, Mr. Fish that takes fourth. It's not a bad position in these leagues, fourth place. And Mr. Fish takes fourth spot. It means you get to qualify in the next race. So top three, Yoda, Willie and Tam not able to qualify for race number two tonight. But Mr. Fish, good amount of points for fourth. And also the ability to qualify in race number two can be a huge help so let's see what was the fastest lap there are some very close laps here 29 7 6 3 i don't think there was anything faster lower down so now it was a 29 let's just double check because sometimes i'm a little bit blind on this yeah 129 7 6 3 from tam so uh yeah good uh, good driving from them all round but Tam takes the win, Willie in second, Yoda on the, the podium. Yeah, it's good driving there, wouldn't it, Visa? There was some, it's unlucky. I mean, there's always going to be the odd incident here or there. That is motor racing. That's just how it goes sometimes. Um, but very, very good. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Let's see if I can try and work out why I haven't got any sodden sound. <laughs> So we'll have to look at that in between races. I might have a quick double check, see if I can work out what on earth uh, has happened for me to get zero game audio. A bit irritating. We'll save a replay just in case we need it. But yeah, good racing from uh, many of them there. There's going to be some penalties added out, maybe. But uh, I don't know, it didn't look too bad. Uh, and now that there's two more. Visa. Two 10 minute qualifying sessions with two more races. So, Hawes, I think taking that 30 second time penalty away finishes in 8th. Or does he finish in 9th? He would finish in. If you just take the 30 seconds away, it'd be 14.6. It would put him in 9th. I believe. So, we'll get that. Uh, 
adjusted. Do you get that hum? Quick question. Do you get this hum noise when I does touch something I'm touching on my desk? Do you get this noise? Because, uh, yeah, that's a bit unnerving. I'm going to electrocute myself. That's bad, isn't it? That would be rubbish. <laughs> so, good, yeah, I just, uh, <laughs> just putting the putting the times in and uh, every time I touch my laptop, it's like I get a hum, like a buzzing in my ear and I'm like, oh dear, it's funky. So yeah, two more races. Uh, so first race of the evening, the top three in the standings don't qualify, and then the second and third races, the top three from the previous race don't qualify. So yeah, you know, I, I always forget they're uh, sat there waiting for me for some reason. I should just keep going. That class got in the way. I'm watching the end. Oh no! Hey, look, no class has got to be more important. It might be less fun, uh, but it's definitely more important. <laughs> Yeah, it was good, good driving, but yeah, just a couple of unlucky little incidents. So we'll see later on. I think the one between Jay Hick and Mr. Fish definitely looked like... I mean, that looked like a pretty stationary BMW. It was out of picture and was very quickly in picture that Jay Hick couldn't really get out of the way of. But I might be wrong. Jay Hick might have murdered him in cold blood, for all I know. But uh, I don't think it looked like that from my screen. So uh, Jay Hick let him pass, so he clearly feels he, it was his fault. But sometimes people can do that just to be a little bit too courteous. Um, it happens more often than you'd think. So, race number two. More of the same, please. I said, it's a good circuit, I feel, for this kind of car. Always pretty ha hairy and hairy in the uh, touring cars, but really good fun. It's a nice little circuit to chuck it around at. About 1 minute 30 laps. It's not that short, but a lot of it's spent on the uh, back end. Sort of the first two straights, really. And then it gets a bit more interesting. I do like these sort of length circuits, especially in the touring cars. So obviously any uh, standings in a sec will be provisional. You know, those things do change due to incidents and whatnot. So you might see a few cars pop out and pop straight back in again. They have to pop out the pits and re enter the pits so that they can monitor. Uh, so that you can uh, monitor the on-course action of racing that's still going ahead. Let's go on board then with let's go on board with Chaos Theory. So unlucky in that first race. It does very much look like he we might have something to uh, It's a difficult one. So they're two cars were miles apart from each other. They both want to take the corner and then collided. So whether they've literally just got no, no idea each other are there, I don't know. But in the bummer either way. Ten minutes quality, as always. Three sitting in the pits, Tam, Willie and Yoda. Yeah, no, I was surprised to be honest with you. I thought you'd be able to stay within two seconds and it's just pulled that gap enough, isn't it? It's a great drive. Well done, Tam. <laughs> hey, oh well look. I wired if it works like that. No, if, <laughs> if, if you can do that, you'd be my guest, Sunshine. If you've got the talent and you've got the smarts. Yeah, so you just didn't get a bit too far ahead then. Got a little bit too conf not really confident enough. And yeah, like you said, it's. Uh, you aren't, aren't able to push really at the end. Okay, so he got. That's him. Uh, that's that lap. No good already. 
Okay, he had uh, push in. Yeah, that's potentially not quite that, but maybe okay. But well done, Tam. Again, this is the fascinating thing about this championship, isn't it? Um, I don't think there's any tyre wear. Oh, I mean, they'll very quickly correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's just the temperature. I think. I may be wrong. It's been a long time since I raced in the Xbox Elite. Got quite a lot to keep uh, keep eyes across. So yeah, there's little details that sometimes I slightly uh, forget. But I don't. Yeah, I don't think so. No tire wear itself, where the tire wear actually goes down on the graphic, but it doesn't wear out. But the tire temps, for example, get quite hot, and then, uh, yeah, they do not handle quite as you'd like. That should be fine for Tam. Now he drives the thing sideways when, they, when it's new out of the garage, so as long as it keeps going sideways, he's golden, I think. He's in his, he's in his element, he's in his natural habitat. In Renault McGann facing sideways. No happier place for Tam to be. <laughs> so yeah, so it's uh, yeah, so you just have to be careful if you push so hard that the and you are pushing hard in these cars, you are getting a little bit sideways, that will uh, scrub the tires a little bit. So two oh look at those two times where he's very close, and then Horse says, uh, no. So clearly just uh <laughs> Well you tell me I'm wrong, Tam. Come on. You tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not, am I? I say drive it, you, you drive it like you stole it. It's um, well, you drive it like you bought it, and you've got no, uh, you've got very good insurance. Yeah, that first corner is a nightmare. One of my least favourite turn ones. No, didn't think so. <laughs> it worked for you. Clearly, it works for you. That's the thing. If that's your, if you can drive like that, I mean, it's the same when we had. Uh, THR Wolf back in the day on in the Xbox uh, League a couple of times. He's, you know, done rally driving uh, in real life, so it's, it's a bit more comfortable when the car's a little bit tail happy because, you know, rally cars, <laughs> not the most grippy of uh, motor vehicles, and uh, yeah, so natural habitats, so you can deal with it. So if, you, if it works, you can be quick in different ways. I mean, on Project Cars 2, it's slightly, slightly quick, does seem to be quicker. There's, there's a case of trying to manage it, you can drive it a certain way, but you can end up beating the tires up just a bit too much by pushing too hard. So there's a little bit of time management involved. Not a huge amount, not a huge amount, but it can only help. What was that really? What am I lying about? Sorry, I've already forgotten. Away with the fairies for sunshine all the time, every time. Yeah. Yeah, what, what was it? Which then don't lie about? Well, I've already forgotten what that might have been about. What, what you're referring to. <laughs> the pits coming out again. Quarter of a second off, currently in fourth. Again, always so close. AJ, 129.75. No time management. Still like you still got to manage it. I mean, you guys don't do any of it, let's be honest. Hey, if you push like, hey, really, you're the one who said you tight, you can, you had poopy tires at the end. That sounds like you didn't manage them very well, hey, eh? hey. Eh? Yeah, no, you don't manage them. <laughs> you cross your fingers, they don't gonna, they're not going to pop. Damn. I've seen, yeah, yeah. How red can you get? Then they will not grit up. They, that will hurt. I mean, look, we we saw Tam, you know, a few times done a few uh, ACC races, you know, ATL. And you, should, and you should do more. You did really well, Tam. You were sort of for, because that was you like starting out on that. You were really solid, like really good base to start from. Um, so we didn't sort of do a few more. Fish getting properly sideways. Channeling his in, inner Tam Hamill. Um, no, I do not at the moment. How oh, I know, it's not enough time. And I'd, I'd have to. I'd, I'd want to get some practice in. Um, it's a tough one. I don't know if I start racing again. It's more. It's as much likely that I'm going to end up racing in something somewhere else. Ah, good to hear, Tam. Good to hear, man. Fish tail. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Damn it, Whitley. Fair play. Bit miffed. I hadn't thought of that one. It's an obvious line, isn't it? When you think about it, it's obvious. Which is why I'm a bit miffed. It didn't occur to me first. Hey ho. Well done, Whitley. Have that. One nil to you. 
But no, you were good, Tam. You were really solid on that. I was like, oh my good lord, I've seen Tam drive on Project Cars too, and it's it's uh, sideways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, uh, good lord, that's going to be risk on ACC. And you were really solid. I was like, oh, what you mean for? I didn't ju- not like. I didn't think you were going to be like dirty or anything. I was just like, oh, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> that's a that's an interesting conversion. Oh, I didn't race Hawaiian. I I was um I was just streaming. No, that was so I was just streaming them racing. Um, that was no tell team taking part in the RCI three hours of Spa. Sounds right. I think that's what it was. And that was we had two teams. The one was Matt Acton and was it Matt with Mr. Fish? I think. So yeah, Andrew Pike and Matt Acton, and then the other one was uh, Sharpie and Joe Core. Not sure, Yoda, to be honest. It's really quite hard to tell from the uh, TV cams. It's just it's easier to see from the replays afterwards. Oh, that was near, very nearly a tyre wall for Hawes there. Cal okay, Siri up top. Is it going to improve? 129.616. Oh, it is. 129.486. Who was that just behind him? Was that Yoda? No, it's not Yoda. That's the wrong green car. It's Jay Higg. Damn it. <laughs> uh, 3, 0.381 behind. And so that first turn is an absolute nightmare. So he'll have to get out now again. Jay Higg. Otherwise, that's where he starts. Yeah, we did. I said we had a, a six hour. I said days were on console. So we've had a six hour Monterey hotel hosted a six hour Monterey a couple of weeks ago on the 7th. Very, very good. That was really awesome. So we've got a few more real life drivers taking part in those as well. Dan Camish, British Touring Car Championship driver, took part in that. Josh Webster as well, Por- uh, Porsche, uh, Porsche Cup driver. Absolutely great blokes as well. But uh, really rather good sim races, which is always awesome. I love that. So a few more drivers suddenly done Mr. Fish. Gets him within half a second, but that's him done. So starts back in sixth. But he knows that BMW, he might be second by turn one, let's be honest. That BMW has some grunt if you get that start right. Which is why Chaos Theory in that Beamer at the start is going to be lethal. Uh, but yeah, we've got a few more, couple more events. So we've got a couple of hotel cars in the um, RCI nine hours of Imola. So that's the... Uh, that is with RCI and that is a JJ Invitational event well we need Invitational tier so that would be cool take part some cracking drivers in that I'm interested to see how they fare not going to be very easy that is not certain, to say the least yeah, that is early December I think we've got racing about a week and a half time so not this weekend but the weekend after oh dear that's a really good ride that quite a lot now aren't they so they're pushing too hard um, we've got another a race coming up shortly in RCI I think as well so I'll try and stream the view of uh, hotel cars again it'll be awesome to, to watch it's more watch along that is really Hawaiian I just sit there and bumble along while they inevitably crash into and get crashed into so yeah <laughs> that's how it went last time it was it was eventful oh well held there by AJ so he's pushing he is pushing far ahead of Hawes it's, it's always interesting the uh, audio in this, in this league Really, they could finish. You know, those drivers can be just about anywhere. We should be much closer this time in quality, but not quite enough to not be the last car to set a time. No, no, said so the six hour of Monza. Oh, AJ getting headlights on and everything. Can he flip it? Eh, he's not going to try. Shame. Bottle job, if you ask me. Um, so, what's still out? He is. Uh, so, that Monza race is on. We hosted ourselves. Obviously, I commentated on it with HDA, so he broke for the whole six hours. With the aid of my uh, throat lozenges. God, I need to doze after three hours, I can tell you that. Um, yes, and we've hosted one back in July, Silverstone. Four hours to Silverstone as well. So there's plenty of that going on. So we'll have future events as well. And it's nice to just host, uh, nice to stream what our guys are doing uh, too. So, worth is he going to improve? He took a few tents to jump into positions. I don't think he did, though. It was 0.898 from pole and I uh, did improve a little bit about three quarters of a tenth but not enough to take any more places 129.4 from Kyle Siri that is going to be tough to match if he does that in the race that's going to be a bit of a battle for the rest of them AJ second and 129.725 and so those are two on your front row Hawes and Jay Higg on second row uh, Tent Trombus and Mr Fish in the third row Mr Fish in that beamer though is going to uh, be one to look out for at the start Worth and Crank Chronic uh, row number four, we've got uh, Wizard U and Yoda. Obviously, Wizard U, another BMW driver 
and then we've got uh, Tam and Willie Blackhammer starting at the back so there's back three obviously the front three from race number one so it's a bit of a random order the way it just puts you in so then more of the same then but less of the crashy there wasn't too much in that first race from what we all saw is there let's be honest it wasn't too bad but hopefully even less of it race number two yeah a little bit I mean you get guys on I mean Klaus Theory did qualify for the Logitech uh, G uh, European final uh, quarter final on console so we know how fast he is so lights out and they're off and uh, Kyle Siri yeah that gets the start we thought he might do in that BMW it's a cracking early lead Jay Higg right alongside and Mr Fish and Hawkins Fish already up to fifth so the tours their horse in the blue white car of Captain Crampy's livery Mr Fish all the way behind uh, oh, a little bit of a knock there just a little touch and, uh, well held though squeeze Mr. Fish is going wide right gives those cars on his inside as much room as possible that's good driving you, you, you know you're on the right hand side you know you're the right hand side of the track and his cars on your left just go as far right as you can give everyone else a bit of it. it's all good so they're all coming down to slow right hand out so with a cracking start to race number two OJ in behind him Jay Higg we've got tense uh, rhombus we've got Mr. Fish he's worth right in behind him we're looking up the inside it's good to see that he's been looking like at a few internet connections a couple of weeks ago. Last time I was able to stream, wasn't uh, well enough to stream last week, unfortunately. And it seems to have sorted those issues out. I think just a bit unlucky on the Xbox Live side of things. I'm going to do that. a bit of a look, I'm not really going to move for it. So Mr. Fish with a cracking start up in fifth, so that uh, wasn't able to really take advantage of being able to qualify. That's behind from uh, Tam, and this is a Tam, previous race winner, wants to get through. Curse Theory already leading by uh, one second. Oh, cool. I didn't know if you'd. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah they're, mm -hmm. honestly, you don't get that. It's just something that comes with the practice the more you drive. Ge honestly, genuinely, it's, it's just a timing thing. It's uh, it's just a repetitiveness. It's the thing about you've got to be quick consistently to live with these. It's just the thing. You can do those laps that they're doing now and again. A bit wide, definitely. Did I say a bit wide? In fact, we've been at Nürburgring, um, but uh, back on circuit, nice and safely. Tam, though, coming up the inside, going to give him a free pass, I think. So move. Oh, Wizard is getting a little bit touchy on the inside. It's going to spin off Wizard to the inside, and uh, that's a face full of wall. So, yeah, it didn't look like there was much uh, wrong there from the other car, I don't think. So, let's go back on board with uh, Chaos Theory. One second clear, AJ. Still holding off Jay Higg, though, for second spot. Those two. A fair bit clear of the next placed car. Mr. Rhombus. Mr. Fish holding off worth as much as he can just behind them. So with another new driver to T1. He's uh, first here and uh, doing very, very well. And Tam not far behind them, so he's uh, got ahead of Willie. Oh, sorry, he's still ahead of Willie. He's bringing him through after they've got uh, past Wizard. Oh, poor Wizard made that mistake. Catch up with some fish pretty quickly here. So it's going to become a larger battle in that mid pack pretty quickly, I think. So, end of lap number two, on to lap number three. Still a, only a second lead. Curse he hasn't stretched that, that lead out any further. People up front just still holding off the. Uh, Inevitable time penalties that often they, uh, they get, especially around the track with a couple of corners like we have here. Mr. Fish going uh, defensive on worse, so gets the move made. Just a little tap in the back, I think that will affect uh, Mr. Fish too much. I think we've just made a little bit of a time penalty that we've taken there. Tens Rombus does have a time penalty, let's quickly double check what that is. It is two seconds, so it's, this is uh, not great, but God, there's no issues with uh, lagging anything here this evening so far. It's all good to me. As well, so I would have piped up had he not. 1.6 second lead now for Kyle Series. We use putting that lead a little bit, although he does jump about a bit depending on whether they're at a corner or the other corners at a straight. Oh dear, dear, that's a car that's really in the background, getting a little bit uh, happy and putting himself up on two wheels. Not the quickest way round. Sam looking on the side of Wolf, does not able to make the move yet though, so Wolf defending that nicely. He's been slightly defensive. So there's the room there, or 
turned it a little bit squeezed. But, uh, he's back in nicely there. So we'll get him round. Just a point in the right direction. Yeah, I say it's, it's great. You don't need that many cars for a great race. You can have... I've had some of my best races there's only been six or seven of us and it's been unbelievable actually I'll be honest it's weird one of my favourite best races favourite races of all time was a few years back about three or four years ago before we started we, before me and the other guys found the hotel and uh, there's only three of us and I've never seen such close racing it was so clean so close it was unbelievable so it can be done and I enjoyed the hell out of that but obviously if you can get more drivers then you know great oh we're going on the inside Side worth. He's going to get inside line in the left hander though, so he'll hug that apex nicely. Yoda's trying to follow him through as well. So more positions to be had. So what's, uh, what's Yoda going to do here as well? Is he going to try and find a way through? Up the inside, it's a bit risky, but he's going to hold that to inside the line. So a little bit of door on door action, this is never really going to be in these. Yoda's had a slightly risky line, that was always going to end up with a bonnet in a, someone's lodged in someone's uh, left side door. So he's got away with that a little bit, if I'm honest. But uh, they're all okay at the moment. Let's get that uh, the top then. So Jay Higgins third. And it's about 1.4 seconds back. You can see there, Carl Siri and AJ in front of them. And, uh, tenths of Rumbus. Sitting in fourth, Mr. Fish. That's a second back from uh, Rumbus, but let's see the time point. We've got four seconds now, so that's the pitch in. It's a seventh or eighth. Stays like this. Four second lead now for Carol's Theory then. Yoda, Yoda looking up the inside of Willie. Will it going to leave him room there? No. Yoda decides better. He decides against it, and wisely so. Three and a half minutes to go. Gets a good run out of T1 though. All the way across to the uh, right hand side. And I think it gets through, so maybe that kind of looked like Willie may have just got an either an absolutely dreadful T1, just didn't get the drive out. And he's letting through for the tap in something earlier. I just thought, you know what, I'm better not holding him off here. Not going to serve me well, we're going to get caught anyways. So the horse just behind him, and we know he's no mad. Crunk Chronic as well, and uh, Worth. Not really to do struggling, unfortunately. Still going. Not sure. That's what I get when I click his name. So he's, uh, he's somewhere, but I don't know where. Check on that one in a minute, I think. Actually, you know what? Let's do it now. So if I go to Wizard View and I go to. Cockpit cam, where does it put us? Okay, so he is still there, but uh, he's binned it and he's staying over there, so never mind. So that's the retirement, let's call that a DNF. That is what that is. Oh, sorry, I'd want to just leave nicely though. 1.7 seconds. See the uh, gap at the moment. So this is from second up to the leader of the race. Coming down to his fifth lap, start lap number six. Still leading by 1.7 seconds. Great driving so far. Set a cracking time in qualifying and he's holding them off very, very nicely. Start of this, uh, let's say start. Nearly, uh, towards the end now of race number two. And holding that lead very strongly. Let's go back to uh, Tim's Rumbers. You can see Mr. Fish there. He wants to get hold of that fifth position, but Tam. It's a winner of race number one. Like I said, it's, uh, you should be quick enough to win a race and then the next race you're, you're mid pack. Just how, how tight this, uh, this league is. Especially with the points to our taking the points after this race as well. Still close, but not as close as they were at the start. So it's an interesting finishing position for that first race. We've got the pattern of the pigeon somewhat. That lead is just, just trying to be ahead of him. Not have got how many room to go down the inside. That's exactly what I think he might have done there. Tam trying to hang it around the outside. No, just uh, it's, it's a solid bit breaking in there. Doesn't have anything to go for. Just coming towards into that. So one minute to go now. So to start the final lap, race number two. Fish, uh, still holding on to that uh, top five, but Tam. What's that fifth spot? Those points all add up. They really do add up by the end of this uh, championship as well. Three points here, three points there really are very, very important. As 
turned out something silly. Knows he's there. It definitely knows he's there. So the uh, four second time penalty. Yep, still four seconds. Four tenths rumbus. We'll push him back anyways. Back into eighth that spot, I believe, as it is at the moment. So they will both benefit. These two will both pop that one position to fourth and fifth, respectively, if they can uh, keep it clean and stay there. Tenths rumbus, as uh, you have to say, has been impressive in terms of just sheer pace. Done really rather well so far. And, uh, he's very much holding his own. This guy's fighting still. Oh, it's getting very, very close between two of them. Want to stand ball with these guys. We'll have to go on ball with uh, Chaos Theory when we get right towards the end. So Tam just pushing quite hard now. Just going to see AJ as well and Jay here, second and third, pushing hard for that uh, second position. Uh, a couple of more changes that could be made in these last few corners of Chaos Theory there, just the last couple of corners to go. And there's two fights not far behind him. So what's going to happen there for the last few corners? And as AJ doesn't make a massive mistake here, should be on for a second spot. Jay Hill will try and nail that last corner, give himself the best chance. He might get stuck up behind a little bit, that does happen quite a bit. Chaos Theory though, superb drive, dominates from start to finish and takes the win. AJ just pips Jay Hick to second. Mr. Fish, let's go on board with Mr. Fish. He does come over the line ahead of uh, Tam. Well done, he holds him off. Uh, so as uh, Tense Row, uh, Tense Rombus goes down the order with his time penalty, they benefit. So fourth and fifth, Mr. Fish for another fourth place. That's a good point, especially with the current leader of the championship, with Yoda. And he's finished down in eighth spot. So let's see, but there are any mad time penalties in that one? No, so that'll be kept then, I think. Those time penalties should all uh, apply nonetheless. Well, Wizard has left now, very late in the day, but he has dropped out of the race, unfortunately. So that will be a DNF. He, he's not going to get points for sitting on the side of the track until the race had finished. That is not a, that is not a race. That is a DNF. <laughs> so one on Chaos Theory. Superb drive, as always. And that is his, let's see, that is his fifth race of the championship. Took a uh, full, uh, full quota of wins. A few weeks ago at Imola was unbelievably strong and has now uh, it took one last week at Ruapuna when I wasn't able to stream as I said and has now taken a tenth and a first so again very varied as this league always is let's save the replay just in case looked to be a fair bit cleaner than the previous race though do you have to say it doesn't look like there was too much going on but yeah great win from uh, Chaos Siri who got the fastest lap I think it is Chaos Theory again, 129.6, oh no it's not, 129.645 from Yoda. Yeah, 129.645 from Yoda. Chuck that in. Oh, well done to him there. And uh, yeah, unfortunately we did do with the DNF uh, down in uh, 12th spot. But uh, apart from that, very close. Worth struggling a little bit. Obviously got caught up in a couple of things and uh, just made a few mistakes. Has the sheer pace, but just that consistency once that comes. I think we'll serve him very, very well. So, yes. Close yet again. But Chaos Theory driving superbly from start to finish. And no one really getting anywhere near him. So, one more race 10 to go. Get ready up for the final one. Let's have a look at the standings, though at the end of uh, that second race. So Chaos Theory then sitting on 334 points. Like I said, all provisional. This could change depending on incidents and, and whatnot. At 334 points plays Yoda in second, 324. So had a 10-point lead roughly before that race and that has now flipped as uh, Yoda finished eighth to, Yoda, uh, to Chaos Theory's race victory. And number 13 points back is AJ in third. He's only five clear of Mr. Fish in fourth, who is himself one point clear of Tam, who himself is only one point clear of Willie Black coming back in sixth. So you can see that between, I mean, from third down to sixth is only seven points. But from the lead to sixth is less than one race win. Kind of a little bit higher. <laughs> Yeah, it depends. You get some that are a bit up themselves. Why? Well, you know, inevitably you get some with the ego because they think they're all that, which they are. You know, fair play to them. Most aren't, though. Most are pretty good. Chaos is a lovely bloke. So quite a few of this lobby are real, uh, you know, 
you do any Xbox League anywhere, these guys would be right at the top. They just would be. There aren't many quicker on console anymore. But yeah, those standings, unbelievably uh, close. Unfortunately, Jay Hook a little bit cast adrift in that mid midfield there. He's about 40 points back from Willie, and then he's another nearly 100 points clear of the next driver. So, yeah, it's a very, very competitive mid-pack. You could literally, it could, you could easily finish first or sixth at the moment. I mean, one disconnect. Curse Siri doesn't finish this race, so he has a disconnect or whatever. It could be fourth or fifth after this right it would be insane yeah very very chill bunch of guys but they take the racing seriously though so yeah they don't take it for granted they know it's a uh, they, they all enjoy it they said as i said they know it's they've got a good thing there they've got a good thing going Let's go on board with where is he? Good boy, Mr. Fish again. Give him, a, give him a little bit of camera time. Yeah, that's, I mean, no standings are about as close as I've seen him for a while. Obviously, not all for the lead, but just unbelievably close. Most drivers, most drivers in this league have had uh, a podium. So Chron Chronics struggled a little bit further down the points. It's tied with Wizard U in 11th and 12th, but I've seen how uh, I've seen how well he drives. There's no worries, Jahir. Probably enjoying it as always. Now I've seen Chron Chronic drive quite a bit. I mean, he's not far off. I mean, he's just this is his first season in Tier One, I think, from coming up from Tier Two, and. Definitely got the pace. It's just a consistency thing. Now, Jay, Jay Higg, you're the same. Like you've got the pace. Once the consistency comes, you'd have rate two extra race wins this championship, were it not for time penalties. Once the consistency comes, man, Jay Higg, you'll be. I, I really do think you're like, you're clearly sort of top in that top bunch. You can definitely mingle with them. The more you drive with them, you get, you'll only get quicker. Nap time finished. Yeah, it was me yesterday, leg. Honestly. Evening, man. No, honestly, the yesterday was horrendous. Yeah, he doesn't really get much sleep. Oh, dear fish, that's not the um, that's not the quick line, mate. I think he might know that, to be honest. I just got. Oh, obviously, the UK time is what 9 p.m. Bang on now. It's exactly nine o'clock in the evening. Yeah, for you, not so much. <laughs> I did that yesterday, I had to run a load of errands, going to do oh, just so much at the yesterday and then oh, I got to that like, mid-evening and I was, I crashed beyond belief, like, worse than I have done for a long, long time. And, uh, yeah, that was me gone. Yeah, it is in a joke, it's like, thin, that's the thing, it's like, yes, the tra track uh, penalties can be harsh, but literally everybody, they're the same for everybody, so it's like, Yeah, long old shift again, I'm assuming, Meg. Right now, there's a... Uh, yeah, track limits are a bit harsh. There's a the point, I think, about the third patch where they felt pretty much spot on to me. And then they changed the back, and I was like, oh, man. And they got made them harsh again. I was like, oh, you had them right then. That was always the fun, innit? Yeah. That kind of job when you get the... Uh, my brother works like overnight as a sort of uh, to support his sort of freelance work. It's like videography and photography, and the uh, yeah, he has to do overnight stuff like just picking packing supermarket stuff, just to, you know, put the money in, get paid a bit. I can do it, and uh, yeah, you, you always get screwed by the people in the previous shift not doing their job, it's always fun. Oh dear. It's alright, it's Benzie who pops up. 
No, I'm good. I'm nice to you. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 I don't know, it's winter days as well. They feel long, don't they? they it's, what, is it dark about 4 p.m. now? About half four? Don't like that much, I'll tell you that. So, Willie's we'll setting a cracking time then. 29.739 to, to get started. But no, I don't like these winter uh, winter evenings much. Only, what, a couple? No, it's only, I think it's 21st of December to then when it starts to turns around again. It's not technically the shortest day of the year, I don't think. Well, it's around then, so it's not too far until the days start getting longer again. Here in the UK, at the very least. I mean, it should be everywhere, but I'm just covering my tracks there. <laughs> uh, that's annoying, though, isn't it? Because what you want to do in that situation... Oh, Tam. Oh, Willie taking it back off him. What, I, what the tempting thing to do in that situation is... When well, you're taking that... Oh, yeah, less than a tenth of the top three already. In that situation, you want to just mop it all to the side and be like, no, you clear it up when they're going the next day and be like, your crap's still down there, so you can still clean it because that's yours. I mean, dark mornings are much worse for you, AJ, up in Scotland. You genuinely, because you're that much further on the curvature of the earth, your mornings will be quite a bit darker. So, yes, top three. I mean, they are, for, yeah, 29.5s. I'd, I'd, yeah, it's not that. <laughs> Sod that. So still got Hawes, uh, Crank Chronic and Mr. Fish to set a time. Fish, Fish struggling a little bit. Coming around the final two corners now, though. Second half of this final qualifying session, though. Four and a bit minutes left to go. Yeah, you've got to work in the dark and come home in the dark. Yeah, it's horrible. What fish up in two, four, half a second back. Well, if you work a retail job, there's someone like Crampy, who is working his socks off them, that's why he's not here tonight, unfortunately. Oh, 3 p.m. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, that's nasty. Yeah, I thought so. All you've got to do... All you've got to, you to come to Hawaii. It, it, it sounds quite nice, I'll be honest. Yeah, I don't think... <laughs> yeah. This is, imagine AJ's being like... What's that? What is that? I don't like it. It's too... I don't know, it's hot and bright. It's the sun, mate. Yeah, I'll be honest, it's been a while. I've heard about that. Apparently it's good for your vitamins and all that. You'd be like me, AJ. I don't know if you're like me, AJ. I'm assuming, I don't know. Do Scottish people tan? Or... <laughs> Are you as pale as me, AJ? Yeah, Tam of 20... Old sod off, Tam. 29-2. It's not very fair on everyone else, is it, really? It, it looks quite good with all of them. Yeah, I love the sun. I hate it. Well, I, I like the sun. It doesn't like me. Let's make that clear. It's just... I like it. It just, it's not so kind to my uh, pale skin. Oh. We've got to get to New York first, that's the problem of mine. <laughs> it's like five, six hundred quid, I think it's probably more than that. Oh, you tell well, that's lucky you then, AJ. I certainly flipping don't. I'm, I'm white, still, I'm like pale white, pale white, pale white, pale white, burned. That's my stages of tan. Ah, oh, fair enough. Yeah, so you've sort of had that bit. Yeah, I haven't. I work at a desk in front of a computer screen, typing away. My, my own stuff, freelance, like self-employed, but... Uh, yeah. I do get a, a bit of sun and stuff. I go out, uh, I feel like, long walks and bits and bobs like that every day. I've done for about 15 years now. Let's finish then. Can he improve? Eight to tenths back at the moment. I mean, those are cracking times. No, he does not. Still at 130.071. Tent Rombus just behind him. Can he nab another position? He does not. I mean, these guys are all set in good time. Crank on it. 130.4. There's no mugs time, but a 29.2 from Tam is, uh, yeah, we found a track he is very fun off tonight, I think. But yeah, I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not someone who works outside. <laughs> but you've got to get out and get your vitamin D. That's the only way you can get it, pretty much. Only natural way you can get it. It's always good to get out for a walk, nice exercise, but uh, good for your good for your brain, good for your mind. I think that's why I started doing it years back. Oh dear, Yoda twenty nine one one five. That's just ridiculous. So really set a cracking time here, twenty nine five eight one, and he's nearly half a second off of pal. Utterly disgraceful, almost embarrassing. Really quick. So we've got people like Worth from the one thirty point five back in eighth, and that's not a bad lap. 
But honestly, yeah, these times are utterly insane. I mean, to set times like a 29.115, he's, that's almost a perfect lap. It has to be. Uh, yeah, honestly, leg, it's like, I reckon if I practice and got really good, like, like got to the point I used to be, I reckon, and I was a really good standard back then. Yeah, probably corner cuts, yeah. I was, you know, back when I was a really, genuinely good standard, I reckon I'm still only finishing, like, mid-pack in this, at most. Now, 29-1 is an utterly insane time. I mean, Yoda, we know he's so quick. Be, you know, right up there in the standings. And, and was they didn't after the first race? Not now, though. Uh, Mr. Yoda, that's a 291. Is he improving? I, hope, I mean, everyone else will hope not. I mean, it'd be insane if he did. Let's see. So this is his last lap. He's done for qualifying now. Nope, he does not improve. Tam's still out on the lap on a mission, trying to improve. And catch that uh, pole time. It's going to be a bit difficult. Yeah, not chaos for once. Yeah. Makes a change, doesn't it? <laughs> I think I'd be quite happy if I got a 31. Yeah, I'd... I'd it's the other hacker. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's 29.5, he's cracking. I mean, the thing is, it's the drivers that can do that. I mean, you know, quite a few of these can do these lap times in race, which is the, the, the naughty thing. You know, that's the, that's what takes the mick a little bit. So Tam comes over the line. Does not improve then, does not close that gap. Tim's Rumbus comes into the pits. Ruff's still out of the circuit, just ahead then. So we'll stand ball with him. See uh, Willie just in the background. Yoda's still going. He's down as well then, so let's come with Wolf. Last couple of corners. 1.4 back, but again, that's not a bad time. 30.5, he's very much tier 1 pace. He's not off the back at all. So what's he going to do here then? Does he improve? Will he come around the final corner? Does he improve as well? I'm going to guess by Willie's last <laughs> run down to the line that uh, he may have been down on his time and thought he'd abandon it in a stylish fashion. And he did just that. So Yoda, 29115, dearie, dearie. But look, I mean, look at that first sector. He is he's actually slower in the last sector than Tam by more than a tenth. That first sector was 23299. And then again a 33176. So he's probably nailed his probably let's be honest, that's his three best sectors are probably all on the same lap, which is quite hard to do. <laughs> yeah, Fecker. Yeah, that's uh It's pretty hard to do anything about that, isn't it? Let's be honest, that's hard to hard to beat. And fully deserved to well done. So he takes the point for pole position, and as you saw, it's quite close. So that point might make a difference. We've had seasons, we've had a couple of Xbox seasons where that point would make the difference between winning or not winning the championship. You know, we do obviously have count back in our tables as well. Uh, so it will take it will take your. Uh, best positions it does tally them all up so sinking there we are good stuff that's all up and they are away then so keep an eye on those bmws you see mr fish already pulling away and chaos theory already trying to get around everybody else i think this might be in the lead by turn one yeah just ridiculous that beam has always been amazing off the start so mr fish taking the lead good start from yoda not quite good enough or a little bit of a tap on fish so Fish will try and stay central there. Gives you the, the plenty of room. So Tam on the inside as well. Touch Robbers. Slightly wide. Everyone needs to try and squeeze there. And the way to give each other enough room. They have just about been able to do that as well. So they've all got through cleanly, I think. So great start from Mr. Fish. That BMW always going to be a lethal off the line. And makes yet another great start. Oh, saying that, Yoda has got a time penalty already. Again, so it's. That's what we saw from uh, Tam on the previous race, first lap, first corner. Got a time penalty, what has he got? It's two seconds, yeah. So, keep, keep, uh, keep an eye on that for later in the race if he is pushing. There is one of those that sometimes will push so hard that he gets uh, racked up a few time penalties. So everyone's still going, everyone nice and close at the moment. So at the moment, because obviously that can change pretty quickly. Especially when everyone is this close. Don't look at him in the back then, Jay going off onto the uh, runoff. He survived. Yep, yeah, he's going up the inside of Wolf then. He's got a bank left hand, always fun. I quite enjoy that turn. Into the stadium section. Uh, yes, he should do this. 
We found out why it was wrong. It was because Mr. Fish had put the wrong number in. I showed him proof to prove it was him as well. <laughs> he still denied it. He was like, <laughs> fake news, it was a hacker. It was like, <laughs> you, can, you can look at that history of people who have edited, edited it and it was like, blah, blah. Mr. Fish. Ah. Oh, no, there's a crash in the background. Who was that then? Was that Crank on it? If I can find him. Yeah, it was. Easily done. Again, there's so many points around here. We can just get a little bit of a wiggle on and uh, either yeah, get tapped around by someone if you get too close. Or it can be, goes completely peaked on like that. But yeah, that was fish. You put the wrong number in. So, not my fault. So, there. I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure Cast always picks this one as well. Oh, that's going has gone. So, Mr. Fish holding on nicely then. I don't know how good Mr. Fish is. So, where is he in the standings at the moment? He was uh, sitting in four. 28 points off the lead. He can yeah, always point around. No, it's always someone else's fault, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, fair play for it. I mean, not as I say it's my fault. You know. People gang up on me anyway. I've got enough bad nicknames. What was it Rob called me the other day? Overlord? Gosh. See, he was going to call me something else, but he said it made me sound like too much of a dictator, so. I don't know. Compliment? I don't know. I don't know how to take that. Is it a compliment or not? <laughs> I didn't at the time. So, great second lap then. Mr. Fish still holding on. That uh, time penalty for Yoda is still going to uh, hold him back. So, you know, Mr. Fish doesn't uh, really need to push too hard. He doesn't want to have to defend from Yoda too hard. He'd almost be better. If this affects his pace too much, he'd be better letting Yoda through. In that two second time penalty. But, uh, nope, he doesn't want to. So, I mean, Yoda. Oh, dear me. That was uh, Yoda's. Uh, Tried to drive through a tyre wall there. That's not going to work. I mean, all like you. There's nothing wrong with that, but like, I, I mean, I've called you worse. To your face. I mean, not to your face, but like, you know, in voice chat. I've, I've, I wouldn't shirk back. Dictator. Um, yes. Dictatorial. This is the word he used, but, uh, yeah, Supreme Leader of El Pinto. Yeah, they're all lovely to me, aren't they? But uh, let's let these two, let these two uh, defend in. It's allowed Tam and Willie to really close up very, very quickly. And uh, I think Yoda not having a good uh, entry. Oh dear. So I think Willie may be going a little bit sideways off the curb. That has took him to the left. And unfortunately that has took Tam with him. So they've all of a sudden gone from third and fourth to ninth and tenth. That'll be ninth and, tenth, ninth and eleventh now. So that's a massive shame. Hey, look, beggars can't be choosers. Take what you can get. <laughs> going a bit wide there. Chaos, through, uh, chaos getting through. We'll have to see later on. Like I said, we'll see in the replay whether that was caused by anyone or whether that was uh, just one mistake and someone else getting caught up with it and being unlucky, which happens, you know. Sometimes that is just the way it goes. Got a few time penalties again there. Let's have a look. So Yoda is still on two. Tense Rhombus and uh, Worth both on two. So Yoda looking up the inside. So again, it might not be uh, too uh, silly for Fish to just let Yoda get in front if need be. Because you know, as long as you know you can stay in two seconds, that might be his fear that if he lets him in front, that two seconds might be a gap that actually Yoda could bridge. Yeah, so you have to be a little bit careful. He wants that race win. He needs as many points as possible. There's not a massive gap in points between first and second place in our point system. That may get revised a little bit further down the line. Um, I think it works okay for now. We don't. We don't. Uh, we don't think that like, first place must get an absolutely gaping chasm amount of more points than second position, especially at this half the time they're in. It's close fighting, so it feels a bit like... I know it's obviously you want to reward first place as many points as possible. But you also do want to keep it fairly competitive, especially when you've got such a close grid. And that's someone in fact... Not all hello. Now that was definitely lag. So I'm assuming that was the tense on this. It's going straight on. And everybody else went a bit weird as well, but... Yeah, we haven't disconnected or anything, so that's... Um, progress, I suppose. And a couple of weeks to go. So we're still going strong. Four minutes left then. In this final race of the evening. That's still less than one and a half tenths between the top two. Tenths from us? Oh yeah, no, he's definitely lagging now. So that connection has definitely given up. So it was a little poor earlier, but it wasn't having any issues. And that had changed. Hopefully that doesn't cause any problems for anybody. Oh, Yoda going up the inside again. I think he's made the move stick this time. for official slot in. So it'll be interesting to see then. 
Whether the fish can hang on. Oh, there's. Uh, where's his car going to come back on track in a second? Yeah, back on circuit. Uh, hopefully that won't take anyone out then. That would be an absolute disaster. If those, I, if, if they see that in race, we can actually say, yeah, it's definitely lagging pretty terribly. They could say something, and they know that's the rule, so they could say something. So it's up to them. Spurs tenths are on just now. Oh, yeah, so this car is properly, so it's suddenly going to stop. My worry is here, it's just going to zoom through all the way to the front. Yeah. So really that car needs either a full disconnect or someone needs to tell him so that he can uh, remove himself from the lobby. But uh, if no one's telling him, he might not know. So back in the day, we used to either just pipe up and go like, thingy, you've, uh, you're, that car's lagging horrendously, you, you don't need to drop out. And they drop out. So uh, yeah, it's up to, some, up to someone to actually say that. I'll have to reinforce that maybe this, uh, this, uh, later on. Because that must be doing that in the lobby for them as well. Uh, it's gone out, so yeah, the, the uh, connection decided to, to finally give up. But go, it's probably safer for everybody involved, to be honest. It's a shame though, he's driven really well tonight. Oh, and there's another one, so who did we lose that time? Wonder who that was as well. So we lost two drivers just then, very, very close to each other. So that was worth, oh, yeah, I think it was worth. Not sure where he was. That may have been a, a road split. I don't know. That might have been a quit. That might have been an, an, a connection issue. We had an issue a few weeks ago. Tuesday Sun can sometimes have issues connection-wise. A couple of weeks ago before the Xbox Series X came out, there was all sorts of trouble. But yeah, we'll have to see how it's going on. So Mr Fish hanging on to Yoda quite nicely here again. Time penalties. Oh yeah, five seconds for Yoda. So Fish doesn't even... He needs to be just in the same county and he should still take the win. Four seconds for Jay Hid and two for Hawes Day, so it's going to be some interesting. Uh, could, it, could there be some changes? I think actually, so Yoda is only going to lose one position. So Jay Hid's going to lose a few. That's going to drop him down to seventh. Yeah, and Hawes is going to lose uh, maybe one spot as well. So it's not too many changes. So penultimate lap then. Coming around to this uh, sweeping stage section for the penultimate time. Yoda driving very well, but yeah, five seven time penalties is going to lose that uh, lose that lead on the circuit. So coming over the line then, starting the final lap of the evening, and uh, Mr. Fish, all he's got to do is stay within five seconds at the moment, as it is. And he will be on for a race victory, a well earned race victory. It'll be interesting to see what it does to the standings as well. So before this race, chaos theory, currently down in fifth leading by nine points he will probably not lead after this but there's a few penalties that might change it could be really, really close Yoda is in second nine points back he's currently leading but will drop to second Mr Fisher is fourth he's leading it's going to be very very close it's going to be fascinating next week the final round is going to be amazing because there's probably four possibly five drivers maybe six drivers that could win this title like feasibly genuinely win this title if, that loud, if you had a loud bang there that was me whacking my desk with my foot not on purpose Luckily, it doesn't bad and he doesn't hurt, otherwise, he'd have me crying like a baby. So, just those three with the time penalty still, nothing added. So, nothing should change there. So, if he's just got to hang on now. Not really too many close battles behind, Chaos Theory. With Tam behind him, he does need to keep him behind him. He wants, you know, he needs those points. Tam will try and get as many points as he can. They've got Horace and Jay just in front, so they will probably gain positions there from the penalties on the two drivers in front. Wide deck, house getting a little bit defensive. Tam maybe look at the cut back, having to avoid contact. Has to be very close between them then. So, final corner, Yoda comes round to take the win on circuit, but we'll lose that win due to the time penalties and fish. You can see very much aware of the fact. And Mr. Fish will take the win. Well done, Mr. Fish. Superbly earned win. Yoda will still take the second spot though, I believe. Let's see. He does. Jay Higg. Pops down, though, a few positions that time, penalty really hurting him. So Chaos Theory takes the podium, so that's going to massively help him in the points then. Uh, this, this is going to be really close in the standings after this third race, so I cannot wait to see what uh, what the order looks like. So, yeah, Wolf did retire, unfortunately, on lap number four. Just after we saw the retirement. So maybe he got caught up in that car that was lagging. That's quite possible. It was the same lap. So let's see what Willie will be putting the, time, uh, the points in, and then we can have a look in the second. So... Fastest lap was a 129.881 from Chaos Theory, I believe. 
Yes, it was. 129.881 in third uh, from Klaus Theory. Uh, well done. So that gets you a point for the fastest lap. Very much uh, decent driving. Kept ahead of uh, kept ahead of Tam. Clearly had the pace to uh, still ultimately take that uh, take that podium. So the, the penalties cost in uh, Hawes and Jahig there. Jahig dropping down to six. It just happens to him a little bit too often, bless him. And uh, yeah, but we've definitely got the pace. I mean, see there, there's still uh, only ten seconds between top. Uh, seven, 13 seconds, 17 seconds between the top nine, even just with the crash in. So there's not that much between them at all. But, uh, you know, fair play to them. It wasn't too bad. Didn't there were too many incidents tonight. We'll see what gets reported. Yeah, it looks... I mean, it's mad every week, let's be honest. It looks utterly mad most weeks. So then, in a second, we can look at the points and see what that has done. It could be fascinating this to see what this has done to the championship standings. So two seconds. Let me make sure that's all sorted out. So yeah, it's interesting the way it mucks around with the championship standings. You think well, it's going to be very close, and actually, not as close as you think they're going to be. I'll show you in a second. Ago, uh, in a second. So very close in that mid pack. So very, very close in that mid pack. Let me just double check something before I go in. Uh, yeah, that's all correct. Good stuff. Cheers again, Willie, as always. So yeah, that's uh, in that case. Look at the uh, points at the end of the evening. So. As you can see, Carol Theory still leading by six points from Yoda. So Yoda still getting that second spot despite his penalties really helping him there. And Carol Theory with the podium is going to have helped him quite a deal. That's uh, probably kept him in the championship but lead. He might even have been tied with, on points. If we'd have uh, got the points for where he finished on circuit before penalties were applied to uh, Jay Higg and Hawes. Uh, yes, Yoda in second. Uh, Mr. Fish is 21 points further back uh, in third. Uh, 33 points off of the lead is Tam. In 4, 36 back is AJ. In 48 back is Willie Blackhammer in 6th. We've got uh, Jay Higg, a little bit of a drift of those. 32 points back from Willie in 7th. And then we've got Captain Crampy in 8th. And we've got Woof in 9th, uh, T-Stack in 10th. Crunk Chronic in 11th. And then Wizard Duke rounding out the order in 12th. And as we say, you know, there's uh, there's still quite a bit of potential for... Um, in the next week, you've got three races, 105 points for up for winning all three races, uh, and there's only 36 between top five. So there's still quite uh, quite a few that can win it. Uh, cheers, OJ. Cheers, Chaos. Much appreciated. Uh, so yeah, still uh, pretty close across the board. You, you know, a, a poor race, race number one, still going to make it pretty pretty interesting. Ah, that's the right fish. It's all good. Felt a bit, uh, just feeling just just about well enough to, this week to, to to manage it. So yeah, nice to get to the end. You guys uh, doing all this good racing. It's uh, it's nice to, you know, get it shown. And I uh, hope everyone enjoyed it on the uh, on the stream this evening. And, uh, yeah, the racing was cracking. I said we might have a, a couple of incidents to look at. Uh, we will see. Uh, but that will look at, as always, by the incident panel. And then the penalty, any penalties handed out accordingly. And then we'll look at the standings anyways at the uh, start next week. To see uh, if anything has changed. Uh, very unlikely. Very rare that anything like that happens bad enough, but uh, they'll be quite an understanding bunch. They know that people aren't doing incidents to be dirty or anything. It's just mistakes here and there. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, stream this evening. Um, I will be back with you on Thursday for round number five of our GT3 League on the Seto Corsa Competizione on PC. And we are from Barthurst, so... Yeah, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> it's better than possibly a bit easier than a wet Silverstone, but yeah, it's just maybe it's just a, a different hard. Maybe it's just a different difficult. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. Interesting. Put that word in place of other words that put fear into your heart. So yeah, at least I'm not driving it. I get to see the hopefully not carnage. Hopefully everyone's okay. But yeah, the people make mistakes around that sort of circuit. It's gonna you know, it's going to be interesting. So yeah, join me for that. There should be a. Uh, 
Good amount, of, good few drivers there on Thursday night, and then we've got the uh, BMW 235i again on Friday. So yeah, still a couple more streams left this week. So do join in. Uh, hopefully you'll be with me again. Yeah, as I said on Thursday, we all see some cracking racing there. Yes, you did, Hydro. That was the end of the racing. Literally saying bye. So hi bye, Hydro. <laughs> uh, yes, unfortunately, it's good racing though. Very good racing as always. Um, but yes, I am Oskies. So uh, yeah, cheers everybody. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully catch you again on Thursday for a bit of ACC on PC from Bathurst. Should be epic. Uh, but until then, have a uh, wonderful evening. Stay safe, take care, and I will see you all uh, next time, including you, Hydro. Sorry, man. I'll catch you soon, dude. And I'll see you all soon. Ta-ra.